relative newcomer Maverick have released a brand new hybrid, the Viper 13. Now it cuts a very familiar shape to their successful Raptor 13. Now we've got it for a couple of days in the high country in Yarra Valley, Victoria, but before we take it out on the tracks, let's go through a couple of details that stand out. The Viper uses a 150 by 50 by 3 mm chassis, which is hot tip galvanized. The body is composite aluminium panels over an alloy frame. We noticed a bit of slag on the chassis and a few joins were a bit misaligned, but nothing out of the ordinary for a low cost import. Our test camper is fitted with a Truma hot water system, which you can access from the inside. We've got decent ventilation on both sides with good sized windows. Rides on independent trailing arm suspension, as is popular with all off-road campers, and with a decent set of rock sliders, you should be able to go most places. Storage is a big X factor on the Viper 13. You've got a massive front pair of lockers, this side set up for jerry cans, plus you have a full width tunnel boot up top. And then on this side, storage for either a Jenny or maybe another small fridge, and the other side, a massive fridge slide. In this locker you'll find two 9 kilo gas bottle holders, so that's where your gas lives. Massive fan of the ARK or ARC 750 jockey wheel. It is an option though, as is the Mick Hitch coupling. So the kitchen, as you'd expect, is a slide out. And I think it's really good to see, but it's got a Dometic 3 burner, so a quality stove and a decent sized sink. Another nice feature, if you're not as tall as I am, is an electric awning. Now, the rear end slides out to add more internal bed space, which we'll see in a moment. Once you're familiar with the process, it's quite simple. Drop the rear wheels, lift the top, fold the sides out, pull the base out, click it into place, done. With the extension out, the sleeping space is massive. Now, there are a couple of options in here, the most prominent one being this fridge, which is a $1,500 option. Now, interestingly enough, the AC from Dometic is a standard feature on all, however. And one thing I'd like to see done differently is this table which doesn't move out of the way quite enough for me. There's a heap of storage inside just like outside, and with the roof popped there's a little over 2 metres of internal height, which I really like. Now the bathroom is massive. One of the cool features is that you can still access the bathroom with the roof down for one of those emergency pit stops. We towed the Viper 13 with both a 120 series Prado and a 2020 Ranger. It highlighted how far cars have come since the old Prado and you could really feel the Viper behind the SUV. That's down to the Viper's girth. It's no lightweight at 2100 kilos dry and up to 3000 kilos loaded. Ground clearance is good and with the roof down it's not too tall. Keep an eye on your mirrors and carry a bit of momentum and you should be able to take it nearly anywhere. So all up, the Viper 13 is a good looking hybrid. Even with the options, it's not bad value for money. And to tow, it's very simple being a single axle and it's nice and nimble, though you do have to watch out for its weight. All up, I think it's a good option for any couple looking to explore Australia. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. It helps us create more content for you, the viewer. And if you have any questions about what you see, leave a comment below.